What's going on, everybody? All right, so look, Joe spoke with James Gunn about playing Deathstroke in the DCU, and James Gunn told him flat out, let it go, All right? Look, hit that subscribe. Let's get into it. All right, check this out. This is good, and I'm glad that this happened. I'll tell you why. You know why? Because it gives me more confidence that when the Snyderverse does get restored, because it's going to happen, because James Gunn's DCU is going to be dead on arrival, and it's just going to fail and flop, honestly. All right? Now, when the Snyderverse does get restored, we can go back. And like I said, probably WB is working on something, because as a backup plan, they're going to see that James Gunn's DCU is not going to turn out good. They don't even have confidence in him. They're just doing it because, of course, a contract and they thought it was going to be good and it was going to work out. And honestly, we know that it's not right because it's starting off really bad and it's only going to end like the Titanic sunk. It's just going to sink. All right. Look, when Zach is back, because we know he's going to come back, money talks in the end. All right. Everybody can say whatever they want. Oh, you can say all your little memes and all your little clowning around saying that it's dead and it's done. No, it's not. Because the flash did not end it. All right. It just opened up a multiverse of timelines. All right. And this right here gives us the opportunity for Deathstroke to come back and reprise his role once the Snyderverse gets restored. All right. And honestly, this is great because let's not forget Joe is part of the Snyderverse. And of course, James Gunn doesn't want to deal with it. He doesn't want to bring anything, you know, from that universe. And, you know, which is ridiculous because Peacemaker is from the DCEU. Amanda Waller, because of, you know, David Ayer, we got her. So, you get what I'm saying? He's just picking and choosing. Whatever. And we will get in due time the Ben Affleck solo film. I'm pretty sure it's going to happen in due time, all right? Everybody's saying no, that it won't happen, it's not going to happen, it's dead, and give up, and move on, and the same old crap that you keep on saying, just shut up, yo, honestly, because we're going to keep on fighting for the Snyderverse, you can't stop us, there's no stopping us, we're not giving up, accept it, you just got to deal with it, cry harder, that's all. All right. You're just mad because in due time, we will get it just like we got the Snyder Cut. We didn't give up. We didn't back down. And we're not going to do it anytime soon. Honestly, until Zack Snyder himself says that it's over, then we, the fans, will move on and give up. But until he doesn't come out and says it, we're not going anywhere. Just get comfortable because you will continue to hear me and many talking about the DCEU. Restore the Snyderverse and release the air cut. If it offends you and if it bothers you, that's your problem. Step aside because these videos are not for you, like I said. This is for the people that want more of the Snyderverse, period. Whatever it is, all right? And like I said, we will get it in due time. Faith and hope will give us that for it to be restored, all right? Zach will be back. Give it time. And like I said, keep on fighting because the more we fight, the stronger and harder that we come out, all right? It's starting to trend again. And like I said, we're only going to ramp it up and continue this movement for the Snyderverse. Let's not forget, in April, we also have Rebel Moon Part 2 coming out, all right? So, like I said, the Snyderverse for the win, baby. You can't stop it. Just accept the fact that Zack is hot. He's a brand, all right? That's what Zack Snyder is. He's a brand, and we want more of it. Because if we didn't, we wouldn't have nothing on Netflix. Netflix wouldn't be investing. And of course, now look, Warner Bros. is interested in releasing, of course, you know, the Snyder Cut in Grey Edition. So they can, you know, of course, make more profit because they know that there's money there. And hopefully, we can get it in theaters, in IMAX. Like I said, keep on fighting. Don't give up. It's just a matter of time. They're watching us. And when I say they're watching us, I'm talking about Warner Bros. Discovery, Netflix, everybody, including James Gunn. And James Gunn is nervous. The Gunn Bros are worried because they know that we will stop at nothing. As always, hit that subscribe. We're almost at a thousand. Show your support. All you got to do is just subscribe. Free content. Drop your comment. And until next time.